Forgiveness can be such a sensitive subject. We've often had deep pain caused by others and ourselves, and our instinctive response might be to shut down, find revenge, or numb ourselves with substances, shopping, and content. Here's the big question. Why forgive? Well, number one, it supports peace, not just in the world, but also within ourselves. Number two, we may care more about the relationship with ourselves or with others than about the grievance itself. And three, maybe, just maybe, we want to feel more free. I created a seven-step process that I'm so excited to be sharing with you. We've worked through the first two steps already, so be sure to check out my YouTube channel to see those. And this week, we're moving on to step three. The third part is to consider that a lifelong punishment may not be reasonable. A lifelong punishment may not be reasonable. If it's your intention to withhold forgiveness of someone, maybe yourself. For the rest of your life, maybe this qualifies as cruel and unusual punishment. This might just qualify as cruel and unusual. Like if you, and I think that especially when we do this to ourselves, I did something, I made a mistake. I will never forgive myself for this. Like that seems like actually not, not, that seems like pretty, pretty, pretty significant punishment for what has happened. And we are, I feel like the most we do that with ourselves, like just holding on to it forever. It's a uniquely human thing to hold a grudge and never let it go. It's a uniquely human way of being. Like if a baby lion gets rough with its mom, it gets a swat and then it's over with. Right? It's like, oh, no more of that. Humans, on the other hand, like to stay mad at each other for a long, long, long time. And it's unnatural. It's actually unnatural because it's causing a lack of freedom, a lack of health, a lack of longevity within us. That's how we know it's unnatural because it actually is not useful. And it's mostly learned. Okay.